What's up, what's up, Legends of Warframe? It is time for Protea. What I mean with that is, since I built this guy, Meta Hydroid uh, build, Hydroid now is really powerful. For me, is one of the strongest frames, if not the strongest frame right now in the game. So check out this build and just decide for yourself. And since the Beast of the Goth out and I built Hydroid, there is a couple of builds I was thinking about. Uh, Protea is one of them. So first thing first, let's learn about Protea and then we go to the build. This is one build. I'm going to show you the, the abilities of Protea, then the build in the Simulacrum, and then we're going to take it to Steel Path. So you see yourself how powerful this new King Protea is. It's like top, top, top end uh, game beyond fashion frame. Hashtag fashion. Okay, passive. For every fourth cast is uh, granted 100% ability strength. You need to keep this one in mind. Here we have a grenade fan. I will make it very simple for you. If you hold, you're going to get over shield. If you tap, you're gonna create aura of slash uh, at, in that place. Simple as that. You can spam it as well. Uh, blaze uh, artillery. This is like the lowest duration. The weakest, the weakest thing about this is the duration. But other than that, it's very powerful guns. You can uh, use them to take down enemies easy, and they proc heat as a damage and they have uh, like uh, a range of 30 meter is really really good and uh, plus 100% damage per hit so it gets stronger and stronger over uh, time dispensary it's very famous uh, helmet ability from protea dispensary will drop for you energy orbs and ammo and uh, health uh, orbs as well here we have temporal uh, anchor one of the abilities that many tunnels doesn't like so if you cast it at point a and you play 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 when this one run out you're gonna go back to point a simple as that it have its own uh, augment where you can actually uh, armor strip enemies when it's active so let me show you really quick what you're talking about so if i hold the first ability i'm gonna get over shield as you can see there are 1000 uh, and getting more and more and more all right so second ability is these guns there you go that's one yeah boom boom here the third ability which is dispensary is this uh, little thing broken for me a bit and our fourth ability okay so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna run around it's active now yeah four three two one and here i am going back in uh, time one of the coolest abilities but sometimes it gets very really uh, tricky okay now when we talk about the fourth ability we talk about the augment uh, that i'm talking about uh, the augment of the fourth ability is the temporal uh erosion temporal or uh anchor augment while temporal anchor is active each strike of the first ability the or i told you about each strike of gren uh, grenade fan and blaze artillery strips 100 percent uh, 10 percent armor uh, from uh, enemies okay so this one and this one if you have this augment active when this one active this ability the first ability and second ability will armor strip uh, enemies okay so since you already know how protea works and all that uh, let's go to the build all right i will let you guess what is this uh, build about probably you did already since i mentioned hydro in the beginning so this build how it works very simple you cast the first ability for your overshield third ability for your uh, energy obviously and now we're gonna cast the first ability without uh, holding okay we'll just cast it like this and then fourth ability Spam, spam, spam. Second ability, fourth ability, second ability, fourth ability, first ability. Okay? So it goes like one, two, and three. One, two, and three. And every time your dispensary reach like around ten, recast the dispensary. There you go. Everything is gone. For me, I think this is one of the most powerful nuking builds so far. And I will show you why. Okay. Let's get going. Okay. So, where we're gonna try this? We're gonna try this in uh, Simul, uh, not Simulacrum, like we're gonna uh, Elite Sanctuary or Sanctuary Onslaught. Okay, we're gonna go for uh, Sanctuary Onslaught uh, if we wanna spam. If we're gonna go Elite Sanctuary if we wanna prove this build is really uh, good. Because if we can do it in Elite Sanctuary, people would say, oh, very good. Yeah, so let's go. There we go, Elite Sanctuary. Let's go. Prove it in Elite Sanctuary. Comes uh, free uh, Sanctuary Onslaught. Okay, here we go. We're going solo just for the sake of uh, this video to get an idea what we're capable uh, of. Okay, all we need just uh, to get uh, one energy. That's all it takes. Take one energy. Here we go. Third ability active. Activating our uh, overshield. Fourth ability active. First ability. Now we spam one. 
too. Now, uh, Simaris will keep blocking for you uh, the abilities, but don't worry, my friend. You spam the second one, and when he blocks the first one, you spam the third, the fourth one, and so on and so on and so on. He will not be able to handle the power that you're going to unleash in this elite uh, sanctuary. As you can see, I just want to put my mouse on the uh, enemies so you can already see how enemies are being taken down because third ability uh, dispensary we don't want to lose our energy uh, rotation that's very important keep an eye on dispensary dispensary is your key here okay so you keep casting first ability second ability and fourth ability every time it's available okay and every time the shield the overshield above goes off you need to hold the first uh, ability boom, 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 boom. as you can see 100 percent efficiency and I'm telling you guys, this build will not fail you. As if I tell you this is a, a, one of the best new kick builds right now. And it's tested. I'm not uh, joking uh, around. I have a reputation I'm working on. Yeah? Alright. Check this out. Boom. It's really, really lovely. And you're going to enjoy it. Okay? Check this out. I wanted to pay attention to this MOA right there. Level 60. No uh, a problem. Okay? So, yeah. Let's go. And here we are, and it's still uh, perfect to test this build and check what he's capable of uh, on the life. Let's go! And uh, by the way, guys, we're live on Monday, Wednesday, and uh, Saturday. And I'm starting into making the builds into the live streams. So this build, actually, we made it yesterday on the live stream. And today, here we go. It is released on the channel. Okay, let's go. Same thing. F uh, first ability for our shield. And then... Uh, you hold it for the sh for uh, for the overshield shield, and then you just uh, spam it uh, for the slash procs, and then second ability to cast those guns, and then fourth ability. And look at this! Look at this! It is just insane. That's all I can say. It's just insane. Just be sure your dispensary always active. That's very very uh, important. Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! You already can feel the nuking power of this build by just watching those uh, numbers flying. So going in, taking uh, the life support. And actually, let's stay outside. We don't need to camp. Okay? We don't want to be called camper, right? But we will camp. If we're gonna go for endurance run, we'll be camping. There's nothing wrong with that. Let's go. Boom, 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 boom. Now, as you can see, I didn't use my dispensary, but I know where I left it. So I just go back there and collect my stuff. So always keep an eye on your dispensary. You don't want to run out of energy on this build. Running out of energy in this build is like staying in a house without a roof. Simple as that. Look at this. Boom, boom, boom. This is really, really, really good. Speaking of really good, let's jump to Acolyte. And we're gonna fight Malis. Malis in the house. Where are you, Malis? Hello, Malis. How you doing, man? There we go. Boom, boom, boom. And Malis is down. And there is nothing else we need to prove here. Only extraction. So we don't waste any more uh, of your precious uh, time. Let's go. And here we are with the build, baby. Let's go. Protea, the legendary. A brief respite on ability cast. Uh, squad converts 150% of energy spent to shields with overshields are inactive. Of course, you can get rid of this one because you have the grenade fan. That depends on what you want. Okay, you want uh, like a pistol, you want corrosive, whatever you desire. It's still charged, that's up to you to switch it. But I will keep this brief respite to keep my overshield always up for my shield gating long uh, duration. Okay. Moving next, uh, premature uh, footed, primed continuity, primed flow, uh, archon vitality. Now, plus 100% health, uh, statue effects from abilities that deal heat. There you go. Okay, damage will be applied twice. Equilibrium, overextend, uh, and equilibrium you're using it because health will be energy, energy will be health, energize will not care about that, the equilibrium will work itself, and energy, every time you pick uh, energy that will be converted health, it will proc and repel energy without giving you that little 25 energy. What In, in general, equilibrium will give, health will give uh, energy, and energy will give health, energy will not, uh, arcane energize will not care. It will give repellent your energy. Overextend uh, for range and minus strength. The viral tempest here. So we're putting the fourth ability of 
the fourth ability we're switching it with hydroid first ability which is the helm with well, this one will be uh, draining you 38 that's why i keep telling you need to keep the energy on radius 10 meter duration 15 seconds damage corrosive and also it's gonna give you the viral from where from the viral tempest tempest barrage augment each projectile has a 100 chance to inflict viral statue effect so what you're doing here slash from the first ability heat from the second ability corrosive and viral from the fourth ability this is the perfect combination that four free status on enemies this is really 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 deadly enemies will not be happy about blind rage rolling guard in case you get some debuff or something like that or uh, the enemy proc on you you can roll and cleanse yourself mode augment for higher strength arcane energize uh, of course, I already talked uh, about it. All right. So that is that. Uh, the Sedo, this is the build I used. Sedo, I didn't even use it at all. Uh, I didn't use any of the other weapons. Okay. I just wanted to show you a pure uh, a Protea. Now, when we talk about the pet, this is going to be exclusive for the ones that are watching this video. All right. Steel Path. So what we did here is Manifold Bond. Companion Precept Mode applies statue effect from companion weapons. Killing enemies with three or more unique statue effects. We have four. Reduce companion ability cooldown by 3 seconds. Here we have the synth. Enemy injured by uh, the companion have 25% chance to drop health or when killed. Equilibrium. Here we have negate. The sentinel prevents statue effect from applying its owner every 5 seconds. 5 seconds. And you have here 3 seconds. So every 2 seconds. Uh, Duple X bond. Companion will clone itself each time you, you expand 100 energy. Spamming. Up to 3 clones. Clones live 30 seconds and cannot use abilities. Their kills have 50% chance to drop energy. Arcane energize. Restoring bond, health orb restore 60 more health and reduce companion recovered by 3 seconds. Now, this is very, very, very uh, important. Because I'm wondering, I want you guys to let me know in the comments below, does this work with equilibrium? I ha I think it does. Like 50% it does, 50% it doesn't. I have no idea. Anyone knows or can do research about this because I looked everywhere. It doesn't show anywhere that this one doesn't work with equilibrium and yet you cannot figure out like it does or not you know you don't know all right but le let me know guys but in all case scenarios we're using this one reduce companion recovery by three seconds it's not based on the health only we're using it for recovery as uh, well and there is that for steel path uh, private regen center recovery time reduced to 35 uh, seconds so we have a respawn time of 25 here we have our prisma rise laver rifle uh, heavy serration this is the build uh, and it is like um primary uh, enhance of critical chance here you have radiation that's the fifth um statue effect that you're going to be using for this lovely uh, build by this we came to an end to our video if you like the build let me know in the comments below what you think of this build are you gonna try it it's really good it can take you really elite sanctuary or sanctuary on route to the level to maybe solo seven eight Depends on your spam, depends on the areas, all right? Well, while I'm testing this uh, build, I managed to take, uh, to get to uh, wave 7 solo, but um, the 8 one, I didn't pass to the 8 because the area was so big and enemies was everywhere, I ran out of the uh, life support. So yeah, thank you so much, guys. Uh, don't forget to hit like, subscribe if you want to join the community, if you want to see more of these uh, videos. I'm not this guy. I have Discord link in the description. Big love to you all and see you next time. Thank you.